Challengers, it is your coach Joanne again, and today I'm going to be talking about what my story is, and hopefully you can relate to me, and if you can't relate to me, hopefully you have some type of journey or story that can connect to mine in some way. So, um, a little bit about me growing up. Um, I was never like the thinnest person in high school, even in middle school. Um, I always knew I wasn't like the thinnest person. It didn't necessarily like bother me too much until probably when I was in high school. And um, in high school, I was again, I wasn't like the heaviest kid, but I definitely wasn't the thinnest. Um, and it started bothering me in high school, but I just dealt with it. It never had any severe side effects on me, but I just dealt with it. Um, moving into college, I gained a little bit more weight and I was a little bit more unhappy. Um, so I started teaching jazzercise. This was years ago, okay? I was teaching jazzercise and I never really lost weight. I was active, but I was never losing weight. Um, so eventually I gave up on that and I didn't really enjoy it. So moving on into my life, I got engaged and I felt like this, that was the time in my life that I really needed to lose weight. I wasn't teaching jazzercise anymore. I was just trying to do it on my own. Um, I lost weight pretty unhealthy in a few different ways that I don't really need to go into. Um, I wasn't like bulimic or anything, but it just wasn't pretty healthy. To be honest, um, I just like didn't really eat much. <laughs> um, I ate like when I was hungry and like starving and like that was it. I had a wedding dress I absolutely needed to fit into and I needed to do it. So I just kind of ate when I absolutely needed to and then I kind of lived on like coffee. Um, so super unhealthy, super not recommended. Um, just being honest with you about that's what my story was. So I'd lost the weight, I fit into my wedding dress I went on my honeymoon, which was a little bit over a week long, and I gained like 15 pounds over my honeymoon, which was like awful and horrible and super upsetting as a newlywed, but it's because I wasn't like eating anything before my wedding. I was like surviving off of like super small meals and coffee. <laughs> so then when I went on my honeymoon and we were drinking and I was eating like, I wasn't like going overboard, but I was eating a regular amount again, I gained all the way back plus some more. So uh, over the next few months. So over the next few months in my new marriage, I constantly struggled with trying to lose weight and begging my husband to let me do this diet or pay for this super expensive diet or buy these diet pills and sign me up for this gym membership and sign me up to go on to um, group fitness classes and just one thing after the other and nothing worked. And every new idea I had, my husband was like, go for it, do it, spend the money, do it, I just want you to be happy. And every time it ended up in a failed attempt, um, I was sadder and sadder. Um, over a year went by in our marriage and I probably lost like 15 pounds and then I would gain it all back. And um, you know, with those diets, I would lose 10 or 15 pounds and gain it all back plus some. And that was kind of been like this cycle of I could just never lose weight and sustain it. Because the minute I would get off a program after a few weeks of being on it, I would just gain it all back because these diets were based on no carbs or no fruit or no sugar or, you know, just no fat or just random things or totally prepackaged food or just all liquid diets, smoothies, anything. Guys, you name it, I have tried it. Um, so it was winter of 2016 and I had had enough. And we had just moved into a new house. We were doing really good um, in our marriage and I was still struggling with my weight, but we were in a new house. I felt like it was a new chapter and I decided I wanted to do something I had never done. And I brought up to my husband of doing a challenge group, which you're in right now. And he seemed skeptic at first, but slowly came around to the idea. I think he was he wasn't tired of letting me do anything I wanted to try to lose weight. Just, I think there's a big, um, kind of thought at home workouts that they don't work. Um, and that's just not with, that wasn't with just him. That's with a lot of people I know that home workouts don't work. Um, and I think when I told my family I was doing a challenge, like a challenge group with a home workout, they were like, oh, that won't work. Like home workouts don't work. Um, Shakeology is overpriced. You can buy the same thing at GNC or Walmart. No, you can't. Um, but 
So I just went in it still like um, full force. My coach was absolutely amazing. Um, some of you may follow me on Facebook, so you probably see my coach, Stephanie Chico, tag me and comment on a bunch of my stuff. That's my coach. Um, she was the most supportive and the most loving person um, who I had met in my weight loss journey, um, other than my husband, because Daniel was super supportive of anything I wanted to try, Even the craziest things I wanted to try. He was super supportive, but Stephanie really helped me um, see like my potential and to see that, you know, you can't put the blame on other people. You know, you got to do it. You got to do it for you. You can't do it for anyone else. You got to do it for you. Um, so I did something I never tried. I did a challenge pack and in 21 days, cause I did 21 day fix in 21 days, I lost over 10 pounds and over seven inches. And I felt incredible. I was still eating carbs. I was eating um, fruit. I was eating everything I loved. I was having my delicious dose of Shakeology every day. Um, and before that guys, like, especially in the winter of this pack that, that year, I was like constantly in yoga pants and sweaters, like big baggy sweaters. And I just, I was starting to like not even want to go out on the weekend to go see friends or family. I just was starting to become like kind of like a homebody, which is fine. That just wasn't me. And I think Daniel was starting to get concerned about why I just always wanted to be home, why I never wanted to like go out and get dressed. And I just was in a really dark place emotionally and physically because I was very unhappy with the way I was looking, but I was also very unhappy with how sad I was feeling. And I knew, I knew deep down that all of this was stringing off of the, the weight gain that I had experienced and that I just couldn't lose it. And throughout the many, many failed attempts I had over the past year of trying to lose weight, maybe losing some weight and gaining it all back plus on every single time. So when I lost those 10 pounds, guys, in 21 days, and I didn't feel like I was crash dieting, and I didn't feel like I was just eating good packaged food constantly, um, I felt amazing. And I can remember Daniel being so proud of me. Daniel is my husband. Daniel being so proud of me and taking me shopping to go get, like, um, a new shirt and a new pair of, like, shorts. Because, not shorts, um, it was winter time, probably, like, jeans or something, I can't remember. Um, but it was so nice to, like, go shopping with my husband and actually buy something that I, like, liked the way I looked. And I can remember going on that shopping trip and being like, I only want to buy one top and one bottom because, like, this is just the start for me. I don't want to buy tons of clothes because this is just the start. And I don't need too much yet because I'm going to continue losing more and more weight. And I did. And um, it was such a great experience to always feel loved in a challenge group and to have other women going through the same thing that I was going through and to be able to cook real food for me and my husband and to be able to go out to dinner and to be able to have alcohol occasionally when I wanted it. It was just an eye-opening experience for me. And I started feeling like the dark cloud that was following me for a year was slowly vanishing and I was slowly starting to feel like myself. And uh, I still remember people were starting to comment on my Facebook, like, you you seem so happy. Like, what are you doing? Like, you just seem so happy. And um, my sister-in-law was kind of telling me the same thing. And I was like, I'm just being me. Like, I'm just loving my life and loving my, like the new me. And I feel great and I feel healthy. And um, Shakeology definitely had um, a purpose in that as well, because Shakeology was giving me the nutrients and the vitamins that I wasn't having every day. Um, and it was giving me energy and it was helping my metabolism. It was helping me stay away from cravings. So, and Shakeology does so much. So if someone tells you that Shakeology is too expensive and you could just go buy the same thing at Walmart, you can pull up tons of articles and, or just show them the back of the, the back of the bag with the ingredients and just be like, no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, you can't. But, um, you know, the experience that I had, guys, is that people are going to say things. Haters are going to hate People are going to tell you home workouts don't work, um, but they do. I am the testament to that and hundreds and thousands of other people around the country. Um, these programs do work if you put the effort into them. And I was at my all-time low, and I literally just was so desiring something to work and for something to work for me, and I found that. And then I had the opportunity to um, 
either not share my story with others or to share my story with others. And I just felt like it was something I needed to do, a, a purpose I had in this life to share my story, to share my experience with others in hopes that it would encourage or support or show other people that they can do the same thing. That even when you're at the lowest of lows in the darkest of the dark and you just feel like there's no way out and you're hiding in those yoga pants and those big sweaters and you're not wanting to go out and wear the skinny jeans and the little tops and stuff because you just feel out of place, I have been there. I've gone through that. Weight loss is a journey. It never ends, guys. We go through highs and lows. We go through times where we feel awesome and then times where we don't feel good. And that's why it's so important to have a coach who can support you and love you and also to have a group with women who are doing the same thing as you, who are going through the same thing as you. Um, so that is really my story. If you have more questions about my story, please feel free to ask me. I do share a lot on Facebook about my story, so you may have been like, oh, I already knew that about you. But if you didn't, that's kind of my story. Um, so um, that's really all I got for you today, guys. I hope that just shows you that this is just the beginning for you and your journey and that you can accomplish so much. And that as your coach, I am here to love and support you and to hold your hand and to answer every question, no matter how small you have during this, this challenge and this group. And that I'm here for you 24-7, guys. So I hope this um, encourages you and shows you that you can do it too, guys. Because I can do it. I was a failed attempt at everything. You can do it too, guys. And I know you can. And I believe in you 100%. All right, guys. You have a wonderful day.